The linear relation constrains the linear motion of two mates with a defined ratio. As one component is moved along a linear degree of freedom, the other component will also move along either the same or different linear degree of freedom at a set ratio to the first component. To define a linear relation, select linear relation and specify the mates to which the relation should apply. Mates with single linear degrees of freedom typically work best, such as a slider or cylindrical mate. If a different mate type, such as a planar mate is chosen, the degree of freedom to which the linear relation should apply must be selected from the prompt. While the linear relation tool is active, test the motion of the components. If necessary, select the reverse direction checkbox. A ratio of the linear motion may also be applied. If this is set to one, each component will move the same distance. If this is set to 0.5, one component will move half the distance of the other component. Note that the order in which the mates are selected is important. The ratio applies to the second component selected. For instance, if our ratio is set to 0.5 and slider 3 is selected prior to slider 4, slider 4 will move half the distance of slider 3. If slider 4 is selected prior to slider 3, the opposite applies. The linear relation is a quick and easy way to constrain the motion of two components along linear degrees of freedom without the need for additional mates or mechanisms.